What do you call a computer that can sing? It's Adele. <laughs> Welcome to Roby Tech. Roby Tech is a show dedicated to PC building, tech news, and tech deals. This video was brought to you by the Ridge Wallet. I wanted to bring you here because, I don't know, man, your life seems a little askew. Yeah, man, my back's been really bothering me. Uh, yeah. I think it's my, my wallet. Holy And cow. I don't know what to do. Oh, oh my God, you can't even lift that thing, dude. You need to get one of these. The Ridge Wallet. It's light, sleek, and industrial. It doesn't fold or awkwardly bulge in your back pocket. It's designed to fit easily in your front pocket as well. This thing can hold up to 12 cards, plus room for cash. There's over 30 colors and styles, including carbon fiber and burnt titanium. Each wallet comes with a lifetime warranty. You can buy this one wallet and carry it for life. In burnt titanium? The Ridge team is so confident that you'll like it that they'll let you test drive it for 45 days. Get 10% off today with free worldwide shipping and returns by going to ridge.com slash robitech and using the code robitech for 10% off. Link in the description below. Yeah, Ridge makes everything smaller. Wait. <laughs> Okay, so let's talk about the PC that we're building today. Uh, starting with the motherboard, uh, we're using, starting with the ASRock B550 Steel Legend uh, AM4. The CPU that we're using is the AMD, uh, the Ryzen 9 5950X, it's a 16 core. For RAM, I'm actually really excited about this. This is like crazy looking RAM and I haven't got to use it before. This is their T-Force Extreme. Look at this stuff, guys. Their ARGB, the whole thing lights up. These are actually the Seagate Fire Cuda 510s. Uh, these are not PCIe Gen 4, these are PCIe Gen 3. Uh, we've got a one terabyte and two terabyte NVMe SSD for these. For our power supply, we've got the EVGA, uh, their 750G3. Uh, main reason we're using 750 watts is because this is only actually being paired with a um, 3070. And so here we got, we got the Gigabyte uh, RTX 3070 right here which is more than enough for what he needs uh, on his side. And then finally, uh, for cooling, one of my favorite AIOs, you can't really go wrong with it, is the NZXT Kraken X63, um, which uh, like, I just love this cooler. Cool, let's start building, but we'll start with a dad joke. What does a house wear? A dress. <laughs> wow, man. What I try to do is educate you a little bit why we're doing the build. So the first thing I'm gonna do is walk you through a motherboard. Up here in the top left is your EPS CPU power connectors. This actually right here powers everything right here. Over here, we've actually got our fan headers, our CPU fan header, and then our just an, a normal fan header. Uh, this is an RGB header right here in the center here. Uh, we have a four pin and a three pin. The three pin's actually addressable. 24 pin e ATX power connector, and this actually powers the motherboard. Right here, these are our DIMMs. This is for RAM. These right here are SATA connectors. Cool thing about this one specifically, because this is a higher end motherboard, is that it actually has this digital display right here. Down here at the bottom, you have your front panel connectors right here. Uh, these are USB 2, and then you've got two more fan headers. We've also got two more addressable RGB headers right here, our front panel audio connector right here. Uh, this has a slot for uh, M.2 Wi-Fi, as well as two other M.2 slots. And then of course, then we have our socket right here. And we're gonna pop this thing out, and we're gonna pop our 5950X into it. We had this out of the box um, earlier. I'm sorry that we, we, like, we don't have the box. We ordered our first range. We got only the, only the ones that are not in the box, so I apologize for that. But hey, are you paying attention? I am paying oh, attention. Oh, that was my... Oh, I just threw the CPU. Can you throw that back? Yeah, no problem. Oh, 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 oh it fell no. out. Guys, I might, I might have bent the pens on this. You have to throw this away. Do you think uh, fries will have any extra... I'm sure it's fine. Well, I'm sure it's fine. It, it, I mean... I'm gonna get a little. Let, let clean. It, get the dust okay, off. Let's there. get some dust off. It's gonna be It'll completely be okay. Yeah. I'm just kidding, guys. This is not the real. <laughs> Ryzen 9 5950X. It's good to go. So we're gonna drop that in just like this and then pop it in just like that. So there we go. That's all there is to it. 5950X is installed and we are good to go. Next up, we're gonna go and do our RAM. I'm excited about this. So this whole thing is RGB. So um, really excited. Like that looks really nice. A little slot right here. Uh, you're gonna line that up with the other slot like so. Uh, first, you're gonna put these down. All our RAMs installed. Now we're gonna go and grab and do our M.2 installation. There's this little slot right here. Uh, see that little slot in the PCB? PCB stands for printed circuit board. 
Uh, that little slot is gonna slot in just like that. And then we're gonna get that beautiful Seagate. There we go. You're gonna pop that in just like I said via the PCB. It goes in just like that. And let's get our case prepped. Love this case. Probably one of my favorite cases. It's an absolute dream to build in. You can put in our motherboard. Who's ready for motherboard installation? I am. Mobo installation. Sexy Mobo time. Oh, that RAM looks so good. Let me just say. Um, okay, um, let's get our AIO put together. We have our, our thing is installed and ready to go. Now what we're gonna do is we're gonna start and run all these cables. We're gonna take our three fans that we have here. So there's our fans. We do these, we gotta find the RGB strip. Huh, I feel like I'm missing something from these fans. We're just gonna replace the fans because uh, I don't have the connection and that's not gonna work. So I'm not gonna do that. We're gonna use the uni fans instead. Now let's get these SL120s put together real quick. Okay, so all we do is we just basically find them and then connect them together. It's pretty straightforward, which is pretty cool. So now they're all daisy chained and they only need one fan header at that point in time and they all get controlled by one thing. And this goes right here. And then just like that, there you go. Your fans are hooked up and ready to go. Now we're gonna grab our case again. So we're just gonna pop this in like this. Ugh. So I'll just zoom in real quick, show you guys what I just hooked up so you guys can see clearly what I just did. First thing I hooked up, which is right up here, this is our, uh, this is our RGB. That's gonna control the RGB for the, light, for the fans. This right here is a fan header. That's a fan splitter. USB 3.2 and USB-C. Down here at the bottom, these are front panel connectors. Uh, this is AIO and this is the Lee and Lee controller. And then over here is HD audio. So those are all the cables that got hooked up. Now I'm gonna pull them all taut and do our cable management, a little bit of cable management in the back to make sure it's good. And then we'll put in our GPU and all that stuff. That looks good. Nice and clean, cable tie, like cable combs. What do you think? Okay, now we're gonna turn this over and get ready for the next part. All our cables are installed and ready to go. It's nice and clean, That's what we want. 30, 70 time. There it is right there. Dang. Yeah, it's nice, thin, and clean. That's, that's thin? It's a thin, yeah, it's a little thin boy. There we go. That looks good in there. Actually, it looks really nice with the rest. It's aesthetically, it's got the same it's hard very, angles. It actually just fits. Yeah. Okay, let's get our 750 G5, G3 actually. Oh. That's so nicely packaged. One VGA. Next, we need our CPU, which is not that one. We need our CPU, which is not that one. We need our CPU, which is not that one. We need our CPU. There it is. CPU. 24 pin ATX. And then we got SATA. that looks look at that like look, look how clean that looks like even down yeah. here it looks clean mm -hmm. okay well let's put the back on finish this this last little part and be done okay here we go oh oh that Ooh. seems like a good sign and boom
Boom, 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 boom. I want you in my room. Oh, good.